Harry, you've also got a new product yep. that you've launched in. Tell us about this new product. Uh, so we are launching the Rotary Pro, uh, which is a parts accumulator. Welcome to the MTD Technical Corner. Today we're joined by Harry from Hydrofeed and we're going to be discussing the wide range of automation solutions that Hydrofeed offer. You are one of the leading suppliers of automation solutions in the UK and thank you for joining us in the MTD studio. Harry, you've recently joined Hydrofeed. Firstly, can you just tell our audience a little bit about yourself and, and your engineering experience. Yeah. So uh, I've worked in an aerospace company for 12 years, um, done my apprenticeship there, served 12 years, and then I worked in a subcontract company for two years, and now I'm at Hydrofeed as an automation sales engineer. Fantastic news and, and, and great to be, for you to be here today. Now Hydrofeed, as you can see on the screen, offer many automated solutions for yep. lathes, for milling machines, for sliding head yep. uh, machines. Let's start with the bar feeder range. Um, talk us through the range of bar feeders, please. So we do Hydrofeed um, short magazine bar feeders, so they can either hold um, starting at one metre length bars up to a metre and a half. And then we also do um, long magazine bar feeders through Top Automazione in Italy. So they're long magazine bar feeders starting at three metre bar lengths up to six metre bar wow. lengths. So Harry, tell me about some of the benefits of a long bar feeder. Uh, so the benefits of a long magazine bar feeder are um, obviously being a f starting at three metre in length, you don't need to cut material from the supplier so the three metre length of bar can go straight into the, into the bar feeder. Um, it has different bar loading options, one of them being a forklift loader, which you can hold big bundles of material on the front of the bar feeder, and the bar feeder will automatically load the material into the bar feeder. Um, also, it's got self-adjusting guide channel sets, so there's no need for additional guide channel sets, which can cost a lot of money. So it can help with productivity for the correct application. Yeah. Now. Hydrofeed have sold thousands of bar feeders um, over the year, over the years, the short bar feeders, which you actually manufacture in Milton Keynes. Can you yep. tell our audience about the range of short bar feeders that are available and the different types of applications that they, they lend themselves for? Yeah, so we do short magazine bar feeders um, starting at one metre length. What were they? They're best suited to one metre length material, um, but they can also have a bar support unit added, which gives you the capability of loading a 1.5 metre length of material, um, but that's all dependent on the length of the headstock of the machine. Uh, we do a pneumatic bar feeder um, starting at 65 millimetres or up to 65 millimetres in diameter, and we also do an 80 millimetre diameter bar feeder. Um, and then we also do electronic MSV bar feeders, which are self-adjusting, um, which work the same way as the pneumatic, but obviously being servo-driven, they're all self-adjusting. So a large range of uh, bar feeders for certain applications. Yeah. Um, so Harry, tell me about the robo job. Uh, so the robo job range, um, it's a FANUC robot, industrial robot, starting from 12 kilogram payload, which can handle seven kilogram billets, up to a 165 kilogram robot, handling up to 85 kilogram billets. And one of the biggest barriers to entry with automation and robots is, is the programming. Um, yep. How simple are they to program? With programming a RoboJob robot, you don't need to know anything about programming FANUC robots. Um, the RoboJob's got its own programming software, um, which, to be honest, takes, if you've got programming knowledge already, if you can program a CNC machine, you can program a robot, no problem at all. So very, very simple very to program. Very simple, very simple to use, ease, very easy. Now, your products lend themselves to all types of machine tools. What types of machine tools does the robo job lend itself to? Uh, so any CNC lathe, um, any CNC mill, uh, whether that be three axis, five axis, uh, multitasking machines. And also recently we have been doing um, HCN pallet type um, machine tools as well. And you've got the tower as well, the robo We've got the tower as well, yeah, which can give you um, full flexibility uh, over any CNC machine tool. Um, and that is based on trying to achieve, or the aim is to achieve 72 hours unmanned machining. Wow, and this is a, a kind of a palletised solution, isn't it, Harry? Uh, yeah, so um, if it was for a milling machine, yeah, the, the, the tower um, would be used to change zero point clamping systems. So you could have multiple jobs in the tower um, and the, ro the robot can change zero point 
um, clamping systems, um, as well as on a lathe, it can change jaws, collets, um, to give you full flexibility over uh, a solution. So it's also automating the setups, not only automating the Automating the setups as well as components, yeah. Harry, any new products? So we've got the new Rotary Pro, uh, which is a parts accumulator. So it's a conveyor system that goes underneath a parts catcher box of a CNC fixed head lathe or a CNC sliding head lathe. Um, it's all adjust, all the heights are adjustable. We also do them in different sizes as well, depending on what you're trying to achieve for your unmanned running. So it's adjustable for different sized machine tools, yep. um, different sizes for different volumes. Yep. And this is a new product and new we've product. heard it first at, at MTD. New product, yep, definitely. Brilliant, so hopefully we can come and review this product soon. So for more information on all the portfolio of products that HydroFeed offer the UK market, contact them or give them a call. Thank you.